Hey friends, how do you like fast paced shooters, retro style action, and gameplay so up close and personal you can almost feel the bodily fluids dripping from your face? Well, maybe I should have rephrased that. But anywho, I have a game for you. But before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe for future Axial GT content. It really does make YouTube think that I'm a better YouTuber than I really am. And for those that have actually followed what I do for a living, I'm out on the road today. So you won't get to see my ugly mug. Lucky you. With that out of the way, let's get started. Today is Proteus, which for some reason people pronounce Produce, which isn't very scary or promote thoughts of action packed gameplay. So no, it's Proteus. That sounds better. Proteus is the first person shooter of old, reimagined using modern rendering techniques. It reaches the quality you expect from a AAA experience while adhering to some aesthetic technical limits of older hardware. That's the Steam description. The game comes to us from Bounding Box Software and is published by Humble Games. From what I can find, Bounding Box Software is two guys on a mission, Mike and Jason, who wanted to mesh games like the original Doom, Quake, with little Duke Nukem, and bring that game to the modern era, but keep its retro feel. And to that end, I do applaud them, because that is exactly what they have done. And I have to say, they've actually done it really well. Proteus entered early access on November 9th, 2020. Now this game is violent and gorely. And it's fabulous. While it is reminiscent of old build engine games, this game has dialed it to the max. And admittedly, the game's story is kind of weak. But this is a jump in and blast enemies straight to hell type of game. So really, there's no story needed. And really, no thinking is required either. And did I mention gore? There's lots of it. From blood splattering the walls to dripping off yourself. All the way to the game's dismemberment system. Which is just as cool as it sounds. When it comes to gunplay, it really shines. It does have a modern feel with its mouse look and sprint functions. Now if you don't like the 3D sprite look of your enemies, they can be switched off in the settings menu to actual 3D models. But to me personally, I feel the 2D sprites really keep with the vibe of the game. Then there's the weapons. You have a plethora of weapons to dispatch your foes, from the pistol, shotgun, machine gun, etc. You can even dual wield a couple Uzis, and admittedly it does throw off your aim, but you do get used to it. Oh and I almost forgot about the auto cannon, my favorite. And there's more. Now there are a few more weapons, but I don't want to ruin all the surprises. It also has to be said that each weapon has an alternate mode of fire, like charging your shots with a shotgun, or keeping your auto cannon barrel spinning so you can shoot instantly and not have to wait for the wind up. Well let's say you like to get up close and personal when you're raging. Your fist can quickly beat your foes into a liquefying mess and is doubly satisfying. Now this is early access and does have a downside. So far it only includes 3-5 to five hours of gameplay, which is kind of short for its $25 price tag. But two things do make this bearable. It has unlimited playthroughs to beat your high scores and see how you compare to others playing the game. Through the Proteus leaderboard, you can make your way up the ranks for some bragging rights. The game also includes a level editor for you to make your own maps and share them with the Proteus community. I might even have to make my own Axial Gaming Tech map. Who knows? Even though this is early access, there's already quite a few community maps to play on, which actually extends your playing sessions. So if you enjoyed playing the original Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem type games, Proteus is for you. It's fast paced gameplay and gory liquefaction is a really fun time. Plus, since it's a Unity game, system specs are actually pretty low. For your minimum, you have Windows 7, a CPU at 2 GHz with 4 cores, 2 GB of memory, a GTX 580, or an AMD HD 7870, DirectX 9, and 4 GB of hard drive space. The recommended is still Windows 7, 3 GHz, 8 core CPU, 6 GB of memory, a GTX 1050, or an RX 560, DirectX 10, and the same amount of hard drive space. So needless to say, this game will play on a potato, which is a good thing. And like I said, if fast paced shooters are your thing, I think Proteus is definitely worth a look. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Axial GT content. I do a mix of games and hardware news and reviews, and links to my Discord and Twitter are in the description below. 
Cyberpunk 2077 launches here in a few days, and I have something really exciting planned for that. So there's something else you might want to stay tuned for, but I appreciate you watching. Until next time, I am out of here. Y'all have a good one.